I have to follow that. So I'm going to rise to the challenge and not use my notes. So what if Tacoma were a child-centered city? What does that mean? Kindergarten class, class of 1980, 1968, Edison Elementary, not the most affluent neighborhood in Tacoma, but we loved being children because we played all the time. We played outside every day. Didn't come home until we were called in. So what does it mean to be a great place to be a child? I think that when you look at different lists that come out, it talks about all these attributes that cities have. Well, they have businesses that are child friendly. And when you go out, you get a Happy Meal and crayons and something to draw on and it means there's booster seats and crayons and wow, that means it's very, very child centric. But maybe there's more to it than that. Maybe there really needs to be more. Rankings galore. Tacoma never made one of these lists, but I'll tell you what the basis of most of these lists are. They are cities that have low crime. They are cities that have jobs that pay well. They are cities that have small, short commutes. And they are cities that people like to live in because there are lots of amenities. Parks and playgrounds everywhere. People often refer to that as what makes a city great. Lots of places to play. But is there more? Do we need to do more? Because when we talk about a city being good for children, exactly whose children are we talking about? Are they just the children of the affluent with the means to do things? Are they everyone's children? This is a very sweet, lovely photo. But let's ask ourselves this. Where will these three be five years from now, 10 years from now, 20 years from now? And I always like to say, don't ask the question if you don't want to hear the answer. Because while we love that image of those young boys, there are some hard truths about where they may end up. Not always, but absolutely possible. Let's ask ourselves why African American students in secondary schools are more likely to be suspended than their counterparts. That is statistically true. And what does that mean? One way this manifests itself is that 16% of black third graders in America are reading at grade level, 16%. It's hard to do well in school when you're not there. When you're suspended, you're not in school. Now this is the image we would hope to see. Those little boys grew up to be teenagers. They're doing well in school. And let's hope that they both go to college because of their academics, not because they can run fast, jump high, or throw a ball well. Here's what children need. They need to be safe, and they need to be loved. This is the essence of what makes people happy, and it's no different for children. They need to be safe, they need to be loved. They need security, they need structure. But if a place is a great place to be a child, it has to be a great place to be a parent. Parents need access to family wage jobs. They have to be able to provide that love and that security. They need lives that aren't full of chaos just trying to survive. Children need stability. They need to know that there is stability in their homes. It's hard to think about stability when you're on the verge of having your family deported and broken up from. Not exactly everyone's experience, but the experience of many children in America. Those of you who recognize this, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, the pyramid. And what do we need? We need food, water, shelter, safety, security. Again, we need to feel safe, we need to feel loved. I look forward to the day when people ask men, how do you balance work and family? <laughs> make it easier. We need paid sick leave. We are the only developed nation that doesn't have a national policy for paid sick leave. So in essence, a great place to be a child must be a community that supports parents. So, 1968, Tacoma, Washington, South Tacoma, 98409. Not the most affluent place, but here's something that most of these kids had. They felt saved, they felt loved, and every time they went home, they knew they were loved. So let me bring a little bit of music into your lives. Got 
cut off. I was supposed to say son and daughter. I love you too after that. <laughs> but at the end of the day, here's what matters the most. It's easier to build strong children than to repair broken men. The reason we care about children is this. We want them to grow up to be productive adults who contribute positively to our societies. When adults do that, cities are stronger. Great cities are great places to get children, but they have to be great places to be parents as well. Thank you.